I'd run my sketchbook for eight hours to see what it'd be like to be a full-time artist. Here's how it went. I started off strong and diving straight into this drawing with zero planning, no proportions, just pencil and page. I realized pretty soon that starting with no planning was not the best idea, but whatever, I made the most out of it, ignored all the errors, proportions and scale, what's that? Hours two and three, I don't really draw nature things, so I wanted to practice that a little bit. I reckon these drawings turned out pretty nice. At the start, I was a little, a little hesitant, but it turned out good. I also have some little small animal characters like Intern Rabbit, Boss Dog, and Big Boss Cat. I love that little narrative in there. I'll see what I can do with them in the future. Lunch break. So one of the rules that I had for this challenge was to just remove distractions, to have a little light dopamine detox for the day. And so for this experiment, the rules were no social media, just Pinterest and music. If I were to take a break, no screens allowed. I'd either have to go outside, touch some grass, or just sit there staring into the abyss. Hours four to five. So this was the halfway mark. And honestly, the halfway mark, ugh. Somewhere around here, I definitely hit a bit of a roadblock. Like, I don't know, just brick wall right in front of me. <laughs> I felt like I had to draw something, but I wasn't loving what I was drawing. I tried to take it a little bit easier by just drawing some little small things off the top of my head, just to take up a little bit of space on the page. After a little bit of messing around with some forms, I made a little bit of headway with these flowers. I finally had something that I was kind of happy with. Things were looking up. On my Pinterest board, there were a lot of pieces that were kind of made up of things in grids and boxes like comic art and I had like really intricate line work. Really wanted to give it a try, so I did. At this point in the experiment, I could definitely feel like some hand wrist pain, like not a good sign, but um, <laughs> to switch things up a bit, I started this portrait, but I used some really light pencil work. Just cause, you know, just take it easy. Dinner break, dinner's just dinner, you know. A well needed break from hunching over from my desk from drawing. I honestly wanted to just sit there a little longer, um, but got to get right back into it. I think the portrait really helped me like get the feeling of, I wanted to like continue it. Hours six to eight, so this is the last little stretch. Last couple of hours were kind of spent mostly drawing this portrait, but I had this like mentality of not wanting to mess it up so much. I don't know why I had that, cause honestly I could just use an eraser, but um, it was a good break just to spend a bit of extra time on something on one page. After the portrait, my energy was honestly a little bit fried. <laughs> um, kind of stuck on what to draw, decided to draw some legs. And uh, honestly, that really brought out the inability that I just don't know how to draw feet. <laughs> um, shoes made things a lot easier though. I rounded out the session with a couple of fun drawings, a couple of eyes, a couple of just, you know, little fruit, <laughs> little things here and there, and a little quick face, just some fun scribbles. And then success, time was up. I managed to clock out in those eight hours. So my one takeaway from this experiment is that I got to recognize that drawing takes time. Like to me, eight hours honestly feels like a decent amount of time. Like I should be able to do quite a bit in eight hours. But when you count up the numbers of the pages that I did, it was 13 pages. I want to say just 13 pages, but I really like that mentality, big no, no. <laughs> it does kind of feel like I should have been able to do more, but looking back in the process, all I did was draw. I think it's super easy to get stuck in your head when all you see on social media is sped up heavily edited drawing processes. I really got to remind myself that creating art often demands more time, more patience than I really think it might. It's tricky to reconcile, but I think it's important to remember that artistic growth comes from very consistent and very deliberate practice. It's more important to fall in love with the process than it is to fall in love with the outcomes that you make. I recommend that you also try a little time-based drawing challenge, maybe have a little dopamine detox, just, you know, really immerse yourself in the process of drawing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.